Hello, and DICE have launched the first community mission for Battlefield 1. This is a Zodiac mission similar to we had in Battlefield 4, and it's for the Capricorn dog tag. And you're going to have to be quick to complete it because it's not a long mission. It starts 9am Pacific time on January the 18th and runs until 9am Pacific time on January the 23rd. And the dog tags are going to be awarded when the mission is finished. To complete the Capricorn mission, what you have to do is get 20 revives and 5 syringe kills. Now 20 revives is pretty easy if you're out there playing medic, because reviving and healing is what you do. Getting the syringe kills is a bit more tricky because there are a few little tricks to it. It isn't as simple as just stabbing somebody with a knife is. So if you want to get a kill with the syringe you need to load it up in advance. You have to wait. You can't just instantly stab somebody with a syringe like you can when you're reviving somebody. You have to pull it out, wait and then stab them with it. And unlike me on that occasion you have to be accurate. You actually have to hit them in the chest. So it's not like a standard revive. You have to load up the syringe and then you have to aim for their chest. If you do that then you'll do 100 damage and you'll get the syringe kill. And there are a couple of good ways of actually getting these kills. You can either go out, flank and try to take out snipers who are oblivious, or you can do what I'm doing here, which is running around looking through buildings, basically looking for those people that are trying to shoot out of windows. The other thing to do is just watch people and see where they go. So if you see somebody run into a building, Follow them with your syringe and try and get that quick and easy kill. I tried using the campers method and that's actually a lot trickier because it relies on people not spotting you and you actually getting around the map to a position where the snipers are. This running through buildings method worked a lot better for me because they don't see you until you're right on top of them and often you can see somebody run into a building and they know they're going to take up a position in the windows and when they are, they're not looking at you, so you can get up behind them and use the syringe. That three second delay to load the syringe up can get you killed a lot of times, but if you're patient, if you go onto the right maps and use the right method, then yeah, you can get those syringe kills. Another method that works well is actually luring people to you. So if you're in a building and shooting out the windows, oftentimes you're going to get somebody charging at you. So you can take advantage of that by basically getting somebody to come to you and then laying in ambush for them. It is riskier because you often end up having to take somebody on head on. Here I do try sneaking behind him but he spots me. But because I've got the syringe loaded, once you hit them in the chest it does kill them instantly. So I got four syringe kills in that round. Unfortunately there's no way to track syringe kills or revives so you're just going to have to keep a count get the next syringe kill in the next round and so that is my five syringe kills so hopefully that's the community mission finished for me so to complete this Capricorn community mission you must get 20 revives and five syringe kills before 9 a.m. Pacific time on the 23rd of January now unfortunately there's no way to tell if you've completed the community mission but if you do complete it then you should get your Zodiac Capricorn dog tag and you should get it pretty soon after the community mission finishes. And if you want to find where the Capricorn dog tag lives, just go into Soldier, Dog Tags, then to the back Dog Tags. You'll see there's the Zodiac tab, click on there, and the third one is the Capricorn dog tag. So that's it. That's the Capricorn Zodiac community mission, and of course there's going to be another one next month. Thanks for watching.